Welcome to Meet the Neighbors, part one of many. We will be ranking neighborhood birds in three completely subjective categories, which are aesthetics, neighborliness, and findability. We will not be taking notes. This is the Buick's Wren. The Buick's Wren is in the neighborhood watch and will remind you of it. The Buick's Wren ranks high in aesthetics with a white supercilium that helps convey their disappointment in your landscaping choices. The Buick's Wren scores poorly in neighborliness. She wants you off her lawn. Where is her lawn? That's your problem. The Buick's Wren scores high on findability. They're in your yard, right now, judging your shrubbery. Overall, 6 out of 10. If birds were literate, the Buick Wren would be leaving you notes on your car for parking on the street. Don't you have a driveway? This is the morning dove. Her vegetable garden is thriving. Would you like some cucumbers? Good morning, doves are not trying to keep up with the Joneses. Extra aesthetic points for iridescence without making a big deal about it. The morning doves' neighborliness score is brought down by their chaotic child-rearing habits. High points on findability. They're always with a buddy. Overall, 8 out of 10. Friendly without dragging you into discussions about cleaning your gutters. Still a little weird that they're leaving eggs in your potted plants. This is the Anna's hummingbird. He recently bought a Harley. It idles in his driveway for three hours every Sunday morning. Respectable score in aesthetics, but maybe he's trying too hard. Top scores in findability. No score was available in neighborliness. When we tried to interview him at home, our correspondent was attacked. Overall, 2 out of 10 did not earn an invitation to this year's neighborhood barbecue. Do not allow near knives. This is a squirrel, not a bird. Note the lack of feathers, even if it's at a bird feeder. Zero out of ten for being an unrepentant peanut thief. This is the cedar waxwing. Peak aesthetics, no notes. Scores well on findability and neighborliness. They host a lot of parties, but the whole neighborhood is invited, which is nice of them. Also, the parties are seasonal, so you don't have to deal with them year-round. Overall, 5 out of 10. Nice to know, but they're publicly intoxicated at the neighborhood park right now. Look at your life. Look at your choices.